Hello, welcome to Films Retold. Today, we are going over the 2016 Netflix movie, Ark. Now, if you haven't seen this before, please be aware there will be spoilers. The premise of the movie is that oil reserves have run out all over the world, causing wars to break out over energy. Because of this, the air has been badly polluted, and it makes the air deadly for humans without wearing a mask. However, an engineer named Renton has created a technology that can create an endless amounts of energy. His new generator could end all the wars. The problem is, the technology also creates a time loop. Renton must protect his new technology from falling into the wrong hands. The movie starts with Renton waking up as if he'd had a nightmare. He notices the time on the clock is 6.16. Suddenly, a group of men violently bust through the door and knock Renton out. Renton tries to escape, but he ends up falling down a flight of stairs, only to hit his head and die. <coughs> Wakes up again in bed and checks the clock to see that it still says 616. He stares at the door to see if the men will bust through again. Just as Renton lets his guard down, the men bust through the door and knock him out again. They tie Renton and Hannah to chairs. Renton notices a man dead next to the arc generator. That man's name is Cuz. We learn the names of the other men are brother, father, and sonny. Father demands that Renton give up his scripts to the group. Scripts are the currency of this world. The group leaves to the kitchen to eat Renton's food because they say they haven't eaten in two days. Renton sees a pair of scissors on the desk and he tries to use them to escape. However, he drops the scissors. He's able to throw his chair back and land on the ground next to the scissors where he's able to escape. He then locks the door to the arc room and frees Hannah. Hannah reaches out to touch the arc generator, but Renton stops her and tells her that it's rigged with 20,000 volts of electricity, and that's why Cuz died. Renton decides to go on the offensive with an electric glove. Him and Hannah try and sneak by, but Hannah creates too much noise. Renton tries to distract him with a rock. This allows Renton to take Sonny out, but Father knows notices and stabs Renton in the stomach with a knife. Renton dies again, and the loop restarts. This time, Renton knows what's coming, and he ends up tied to the chair yet again, with Cuz on the floor, dead. Just like before, Renton tries to use the scissors to escape, but drops him on the floor. Renton tries to explain to Hannah that this has all happened before, but she doesn't understand, because she has no memory of the loop. Renton tells Hannah that he thinks the arc is causing time to loop, but Hannah dismisses this, calling him crazy. Renton gives Hannah a gas grenade and tells Hannah to drop it in the house's ventilation system. Sonny notices Renton and tries to chase him, but Renton locks himself in the same room he woke up in. When Sonny stops banging on the door, Renton believes the gas has worked, so he goes out of the room to check only to find the thieves have captured Hannah. Hannah explains that she just couldn't do it. Renton gives the group of thieves access to his scripts in the safe. Once they have the scripts, Sonny suggests that they should shoot Renton because he can identify them. Just as they were about to shoot Renton, Hannah stops them and it's revealed that Hannah was actually working with them the whole time, and her code name was Mother. Just as Hannah leaves the room, Sonny shoots Renton in the chest, killing him again, restarting the same events all over again, only this time Renton knows Hannah's working with the thieves. Renton frees himself from the chair again, only this time leaving Hannah tied up. Hannah tells Renton that she was captured by the company Taurus, and that she was interrogated to see if she had anything to do with Renton stealing the scripts and the machine from his old employer, Taurus. Renton finally decides to free Hannah, but Hannah suggests that he just do what they say because they have a gun. They sneak into the basement, but Renton tases Hannah, immobilizing her. Renton explains to Hannah that he knows everything, and he knows that she's working with the thieves. He tells Hannah that he plans to gas the thieves again, sparing her, but Hannah talks Renton out of killing them. They go upstairs with the hand grenade inside of Renton's hand. He plans to use it as leverage. If they shoot him, they all die. This causes the thieves to lower their weapons, and Renton and Hannah tie the thieves up. Renton tries to convince Hannah to leave and disappear with him, but Hannah does not answer, and she leaves the room. Renton starts dishing out some much-needed justice for all the times the thieves have killed him, but Hannah returns and tells him to stop. Renton tries to leave with the scripts, but Hannah pulls a gun on him, telling Renton that he has to give her the scripts. Renton tries to grab the gun, but Hannah accidentally shoots him, restarting the loop all over again. However, this time Hannah has memory of the previous loop. Renton explains to Hannah how the arc works and tells her that it's producing unlimited energy, but it's also looping time. He asks Hannah what happened after she shot him on the last loop, and she says that she heard another gunshot and then woke up next to Renton again. Hannah and Renton come up with a plan to try and trick the other thieves. Hannah then calls the group back into the room. She tells them to untie her, because Renton had told her where the scripts are. Once she has the scripts, she tells the group that they need to leave now. Yet again, Sonny suggests that they should shoot Renton because he's seen their faces. Hannah is able to convince them not to do it, and is able to get control of the gun. Hannah, now knowing what the Ark can do, tells the group that they should take it with them. Sonny then shoots Father and Hannah, killing them, while Brother makes a run for it. Sonny then reveals that he actually works for Taurus, and his job was to get the machine back. Sonny then takes a walkie-talkie out of the pocket of Cuz, who's lying there dead, and calls for backup from Taurus. Renton manages to escape the chair, but is overpowered by Sonny and he ends up shooting Renton in the head. Renton and Hannah wake up again. Hannah asks what they should do, and Renton tells her to just play along. The two come up with another plan as they're tied up. This time, Hannah tells the group that Renton had escaped. Everyone except Hannah and Father leave the room to look for Renton. Hannah pulls Father aside and tells him that they need to kill Sonny. 
She explains to Father why Sonny is actually there, and that the Ark is actually a time machine. Sonny then knocks out Brother, and he returns to the Ark room, telling Father and Hannah that Renton had killed Brother. Hannah tells Father that he's lying, and Sonny shoots Father. Just before he can shoot Hannah, Renton sneaks up behind and kills him. With Sonny dead, Renton and Hannah believe it's over. Hannah realizes Father is still alive and tells Renton to get the first aid kit. But when Renton does, he is shot in the back by Brother, killing Renton and starting the loop all over again. This time, when they wake up, they hear gunshots, and no one comes through the door like all the previous loops. They find the bodies of father and brother, and Hannah asks why is this loop different. Renton says he believes it's because Sonny is now aware of the time loops and remembers being killed on the last loop. Renton figures out that the arc isn't actually producing unlimited energy, that it's just reusing energy from the previous loops. Hannah again tries to convince Renton to give her the arc. She believes with the arc she could end the energy war. But Renton says that neither the Block or Taurus can get their hands on the Ark. He tells Hannah that if Sonny kills him before they kill Sonny, that she must destroy the Ark. Renton then goes to try and see if he can find Sonny before he calls him back up. He finds a body in a closet, thinking it was Sonny, but Sonny had tricked him into thinking the body was in the Ark room was Father, but it was actually Sonny in Father's clothes. Sonny now has Hannah at gunpoint. Sonny orders Renton to shut the Ark down, but just as Renton is walking by, he grabs Sonny and touches the Ark at the same time, killing both of them, resetting the loop. This time when they wake up, they don't hear any gunshots, and nobody came into the room. They find Sonny, father, and brother inside the Ark room, and it's revealed that father may also be starting to remember the loops. Sonny quickly shoots and kills father and brother again. Cuz is shown to be alive during this loop. Just like Sonny, he also works for Taurus. Sonny shuts the door to the Ark room and explains that they need to shut the Ark down before they can kill Renton. Once the door is closed, Renton uses this as an opportunity to lock the door from the other side. Renton and Hannah decide to go through with the plan to put the gas grenade in the ventilation system. But after some time passes, they hear a gunshot. Thinking Sonny must be dead by now, they check the room and find Sonny shot himself. Sonny called for backup and then killed himself to restart the loop again, knowing that the backup would kill Renton and Hannah, restarting the loop. This leads Renton to decide that he must destroy the Ark before backup arrives. Hannah accidentally steps into a pool of blood that's also touching the Ark, and she dies. With Hannah dead, Renton decides to cancel the self-destruct of the Ark, and instead allows the loop to reset. Renton and Hannah wake up to father and brother breaking into the door, but Hannah stops them and explains what's going on. She tells them that Sonny and Cousin are mercs for Taurus. Father reveals that he also remembers the last loop where Sonny shot him. Renton asks Father to help them, and he agrees. As everyone has gone through the home looking for Sonny, they are ambushed by Sonny and Father has his gun taken. Sonny and Cuz start torturing Hannah in order to get the code to shut off the Ark. Renton eventually caves and tells Sonny the code. Sonny instructs Hannah to touch the Ark to confirm it has actually been turned off. Hannah touches the Ark and nothing happens. Sonny then kills Brother. He then tells Renton to shut the machine off completely so it's not spinning anymore. As he does, the power goes out and Hannah and Renton make a run for it. The two manage to make it outside the home, but have difficulty breathing because of the air quality. Outside, they discover the loop is only happening inside the circle around the home. The two find Cuz and launch an attack that leads to Hannah splashing kerosene on him and burning him alive. The two then return to the Ark Room to try and kill Sonny. Renton is able to overpower Sonny and kill him. The two realize that Sonny has already called for backup, and Renton tells Hannah to take the Ark to the block. Renton discovers there was an interruption on the computer showing how many loops they've gone through. On the ninth loop is where the interruption happens. It's discovered that each sequence has nine loops, but there are thousands of sequences. When Sonny restarted the arc, that's what caused the interruption to happen. And when that happens, that's when everybody loses their memory. Taurus is now banging on the door to try and get into the arc room, and Renton decides that he must destroy the arc. At the last moment, he changes his mind and tells Hannah that they have to try again. Renton then records a message to himself, but is killed. The scene cuts to the beginning of the loop in the bedroom, this time with Hannah waking up in the same fashion Renton did on the first loop. And that is Arc Retold. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed this content, please remember to subscribe and hit that like button.